This is Santosh Shah from Abler ASD Canada. I'm super excited to take interview of Rising Star Conservative Party leader Mr. Pierre Polliver. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much Santosh Shah. Trudeau government increased the cabinet minister which uh, costing every Canadian and spending also increased the spending. So what do you think is the right size for effective cabinet? And are there any areas you would consider reducing for uh, efficiency? Yes, Santoshi Shah, very good question. After eight years, Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost. He's doubled our debt. He's printed $600 billion of new cash, which has bid up the cost of the goods we buy and the interest we pay. We now have the worst inflation in my lifetime. Uh, and housing costs have more than doubled. This is because the cost of government is driving up the cost of living. Uh, you ask what I would what I would eliminate um, the wasteful spending. So, for example, we just learned yesterday the government spent eight million dollars on a barn, a barn, eight million dollars for a barn. Uh, most people can't afford a home, and he's spending that kind of money. He's, he gave a quarter billion dollars to the China-controlled Asian Infrastructure Bank to build infrastructure in. Asia when we don't have enough infrastructure at home. He gave billion dollars to a technology fund that has been giving out handouts to a liberal insiders, spent 54 million on the Arrive Can app, which didn't work, wasn't needed, and could have been done for 300 grand. It's now under criminal investigation. I would get rid of all those sorts of wasteful expenditures, and I'd bring in a new law, and it works like this. It's called the Dollar for Dollar Law. Every time the government brings in an extra spending, a, a doll, an extra dollar of spending, it will have to find an extra dollar of savings to pay for it so that there's no net cost burden on the taxpayer. That's how single mothers and small businesses run their finances. It's common sense, mm -hmm. and that's how the government should run its finances too. You agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. Thank Current, you. Current uh, member uh, number is 35. But it would be like 20 is enough for yeah. the government, right? Yeah, 20 is an interesting number. I haven't uh, nailed down exactly how many ministers I have, mm -hmm. but I'm, uh, I'm open to reducing that because every minister has a huge staff and yeah. offices, and then they, they all come up with bright ideas to spend more money on this or that program. So maybe a smaller cabinet mm -hmm. would be a way to have a smaller cost for taxpayers. That's correct. Sir. I agree with that. You agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that completely. So, even though Bank of Canada work independently, so how do you ensure to interest rate are favorable in Canadian household in both long term and short term? That's a very good question. It is true that the Bank of Canada is independent in setting interest rates. However, the government has an enormous influence over those rates. Uh, when the government runs huge deficits and borrows lots of money, it causes inflation because it means more spend, more bidding up of the goods we buy, and, and therefore the bank is forced to raise interest rates when Justin Trudeau raises spending. So after eight years, Trudeau's deficits are not worth the cost. I would cap spending, uh, cut waste to balance the budget and push interest rates back down. Yeah, that's you agree with that? Yeah, I'm agree with We need to have a professional relationship with India. India is the world's biggest democracy.